not all solar roofs are straightforward. This is complex, this is slate, and it takes about three times longer to mount the panels onto the roof, but it is possible. All right. It's a chunky raft of that, isn't it? So what we're gonna do right now is ask one of these expert roofers to take us through the process of installing the bracket. This is the first part of the job, and I think you'll find this really interesting. Close that gate, you're making me feel sick. <laughs> <Get down. laughs> Should we tie it up and put a padlock on it and a warning sign? Right, so, the other day when I marked the roof out before we changed the array, I already found the rafter. So I know the rafter is around here. This row here is a tile that I need to take out to be able to cut through this tile to attach the hook to that rafter to have the hook come out here and be 300 mil from the bottom of the panel. So you work out where your clamping range is on your where panel? Where my clamping range is. So I'll work out the roof first, Yeah. how high we're going with the panels. Then I'll work out where the rafter is and see if I need to go up or down just so that you can then be in range for your clamping tolerance. And it's more complicated on slate, isn't it? It's, it's more complicated, in a way. Because on a normal one, you just knock it up and you see it, Yeah, I'll just push it up. And But if I remove that, as soon as I take the two nails out, you won't be able to just push it back in and it stay there. So then you have to get an anchor hook to go underneath. So this is way more complex than I'd ever imagined. Now, usually when you're trying to locate a joist on a roof, you simply just push a tile up and you can see where they are. And if you don't find it, you just move across, push another tile up. It's not the same with slate, it's way more complex. We need to open up the roof on these overlap tiles and find them and to unlock the roof. You have to use a slate ripper, these things that fall apart. It looks like it's like a Turkish kebab house. Yeah. <laughs> so I want to take this tile out. I know the rafters here because I already removed one the other day before the array changed. And then, and then you know the distance between each one. Pull that one. But hopefully. Oh, it's pretty violent, isn't it? Yeah. So you're literally ripping, ripping the... It. Sometimes you need to get the hammer on it and give it a bit of a tap to get it out because it's, they've been put in properly. Well, that's Sometimes... the nail that's sat about here. The nail is on that sat... Tile. Yeah, it's about here. Yeah. On these tiles, so... So you're just ripping that out. this line here. Yeah, I'm just ripping that out. So we get people all the time when we're quoting solar systems and they've got a slate roof and we charge extra for slate roof and they're like, well, oh, that's a bit unfair. It's like, well, you, you come to the this. time. It's the time, the it, time takes, it takes, yeah. isn't it? Like literally just to get one out there. That's from me cutting for the other hook. So we've got that out. Are we doing a bracket now? Yeah. Yeah. Right. Okay. The rafter is just there. That's a little higher than on the other roof. So if you stick that hook onto that rafter, you'll see it don't. It will sit on the tile. Oh yeah. Oh, it's right. So if you're on there, that'll just crack that, wouldn't it? Yeah. Because it's just sat on it. Get two in there. You've now got enough distance away. What's that? Just nine mil play or something? Yeah. All oh, right. And once so you get it on there, you've got all that bounce in your in your hook. Yeah, because it's going to have a little yeah, bit of gonna, movement in it. So the goal is to keep it off this because it's so it fragile. Yeah, because it will just push in. And if it pushes in too much, it will just snap the tile. These tiles, you tend to work, spread your weight. People climb up them and they stand on them with their toes and that's what breaks the tile. Oh God. Oh gosh. Uh -oh. Ah, shit. You've got to try and get your whole foot on it. Yeah. Which is hard when it's 45 degrees. Yeah. And they use ply, it don't split, does it? Don't split. Yeah. It'll stay as one piece. And go straight for it. Yeah, look at that. I mean, even with one fixing, it's solid. It's solid, yeah, yeah, yeah. Bloody hell, you're a pro, aren't you? There's, there's a second bit to this now, isn't there? And there's a flash in. So, these are always a pain because, as you can see, the nail's there. So when I'm pushing it in, there's a nail here. This is going to catch? So sometimes it catches, it depends. As you can see, they ain't just... And you can't really get much on these, can you? No, because you'll step it. So... We might get away with this one. Oh, yeah, nice. Straight in, under, push it all the way up so it's in line with the tile. The hole you've made is now covered. It's watertight. What are these called? These are, these are G 
genius. Genius, yeah, genius flash. This is another cost consideration, isn't it? Like sometimes these just break, don't they? Oh yeah. Yeah, I've been pulling a tile out over here, one's fallen out over there. But it's not the whole tile, it's just like this piece here. So they, they just get a fracture in them? Yeah. I mean, there was one on the other side of the roof where... I've seen that. Yeah, all the tiles look fine, and then all of a sudden this tile just fell out. We weren't even near it. It's just because we're walking around on it, it's just, it's just it. getting a little bit of movement. So you don't, gr you don't grind this then, no? No. You can do, but you end up going through batteries too quick. Okay, I it like paper. It's, yeah, like, it's like cheese. <laughs> that's the thing. And I mean, even a grinder, yes, it goes through it, but you're still having to put some pressure on it. There's a chance it might break. And then that's it. It's crazy, that, isn't it? But what you find is you push it over, this corner will push that tile. So you've got to try and follow it up the line the whole way. This one's probably going to go in quite easy. Well, because not catch if it catches something, you mean it starts that's pushing it. the other ones yeah, out. It pushes it out of the way. It's crazy how you can just feel that, isn't it? Like yeah. that, that to me, I think that was in. <laughs> but you know it's not in. And on this roof, this is 34 panels in it, or 32, is it? 32. So this is gonna be just, this is why it takes the time. Yeah. That's it. Yeah, that's Big respect, I didn't realize it was that complicated. Yeah. It's not only that as well, like obviously we've got the, I mean, it's still terrifying for me up here, but this is sort of like eye level, isn't it? For us, yeah. we've got feet on the, got feet on the scaffolding, eye level. When you're up there yeah. and you're having to do that and you need all this stuff local, you've got to grind it, you've got to get your grind, you've got to get your drill, you've got to get the ripper, you've got to get a tie, you've got to cut it, get down, get up, get down, get up. And every time you're walking yeah, on these. You can't just leave the tile up there because nine times out of 10, you leave it on the rail because the rail's got that bit of flex in it. Something moves. Panel sits up, so that won't sit on there like that. Once the panel's on there, it'll come down to about there. With the weight? With the weight of the, the panels. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then that'll move your tile that you've rested on that rail and then that tile slides down, then it smashes, and then you're looking for another tile. That's the cost, isn't it? And that's yeah. the time. Big respect. Right, we're going to leave you to it because I right. feel like you're going to be here till March doing this if we keep getting in your way. So. <laughs>So I did not realise that was that complex. And the first thing I'm doing when I get back to the office is getting the team together and I'm gonna make them watch that video. Cause when they talk about slate roofs, they make it sound super simple. It's complex and it's time consuming. But if you do have a slate roof or a non-standard construction roof, then don't worry, Heatable are here to help and you can book a design call with one of our experts. They'll give you a price to get solar on your slate roof.